Hello everyone and happy Friday. Before we share my analysis from these last few days, please remember that neither I nor the SIM2 team from Crypto Briefing are licensed financial advisors. What we provide is not a personalized investment advice. It is merely our opinions based on our various research and diligence. As always, do your own research before making any decisions about buying or selling crypto. Okay, so let's get to the technical update for Bitcoin now. Uh, so for me, if we broke below uh, 38,000, I don't see a way back until we test uh, 30,000. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. And that's the key downside level that I'm looking at. Uh, the monthly pivot point, uh, we can't really get below there at the moment. We're not uh, we're not getting much traction below there. Uh, 41,750. So keep your eye on that. And it's also quite close to the weekly pivot point at 42,000. And we're obviously trading uh, somewhat above that. And we tried to get under there today. So all the time we're above those two metrics, there's probably going to be a bias uh, to trade back towards around uh, 43,400, something like that. Upside targets past uh, 43. Uh, for 43.5. If that was a blow, then you're probably looking about 45.5 and 47,000. Um, and obviously, uh, we know what the daily uh, bearish signal, or, 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 I guess, would be, and that would be a close uh, beneath uh, 38,000. Again, as we looked at earlier, it's these triangle patterns that are dominating. And once we start to break out from there, uh, we're kind of indicating that there's going to be a strong trendy move in the market. If we measure the size of this, you're probably looking at about a $9,000 move. It might sound a bit extreme, but that's what it's kind of pointing to. If we look at um, the overall bias in the market in terms of Bollinger Bands it, on a uh, daily basis, it's still saying sideways uh, trading action, i.e. there's no uh, clear direction in the market, hence why I don't think a lot of people are getting too excited. Um, so uh, once you get trendy moves, uh, the bands tend to start to slope upwards or slope downwards. Uh, the fact that we've gone sideways is indicating that a breakout is probably coming, but we don't actually know the timing. Um, it will get closer and closer. Uh, the tighter the bands narrow, and then it will happen. But at the moment, we're in this horrible sideways market. Um, other things to note on uh, Bitcoin. I guess on the daily chart, uh, we still need to be aware that there's a head and shoulders pattern there that hasn't fully broken out to the downside. And also, uh, there's a possibility if we did break above that triangle pattern that I showed you earlier, then we could probably test towards the neckline of this pattern, which is very unusually drawn this way, but it equally as valid around about the 47,000 level. And uh, something else to note here, uh, just in terms of there's no uh, real uh, conclusive evidence about where the market's going, uh, you can see the weekly time frame, the alligator indicator is still issuing a sell signal, even though we're trying to move above the green line. Uh, you can see once it started to turn over, um, uh, once it starts to flip in a direction, it tends to stick with that trend on a weekly basis. So the more uh, the Bitcoin starts to trade above this green line and gets near that red line, the more chance of this overall bearish tr uh, trend being invalidated. And that's kind of indicating that it will be fully invalidated if we start to get past uh, probably 47,000 or something like that. So at the moment, it's still very early. Self signal still in place, although just marginally. And if we were to turn lower from here and this green line were to continue to extend down, then it would be probably very bearish and we could see some heavy selling in the market. So overall, I guess uh, we could say that Bitcoin is hanging tough on dips. A break above 43.5 is probably going to expose 45.5 as a minimum target. I guess beyond 45.5, I think, uh, 47,000 is probably going to be key and it's very likely that we're going to see a test back towards that uh, trend line you know, that kind of denotes the neckline of the head and shoulders pattern. Uh, to the downside, I think much below 38,000 and uh, BTC is gone basically. Yeah, you're looking at 30,000, 27,000, something like that in my opinion. So overall, there's real no conclusive evidence that this rally is the real deal at the moment. So um, I think we've got to keep a uh, healthy dose of uh, scepticism on both sides. Uh, looking at Ethereum, I'm going to start with the Williams Alligator Indicator, and it's almost a, a carbon copy of what's going on with um, uh, Bitcoin at the moment, i.e. Uh, the sell signal is still in place, but just marginally, and we're testing above that area. If we were to get above 3.2, I'm going to show you something very interesting in the chart now, in that um, we're on uh, still uh, pretty much on uh, quite a strong uh, monthly trend. But if we were to get a rejection uh, from these levels, uh, take a look at this orange line here. Have a look at this inverted head and shoulders pattern, uh, very similar to when Bitcoin broke above 20K, when we got a new all-time high. We kind of broke above there, we come back, but we haven't had a full uh, retest of this orange line. So if we were to get uh, rejected from here or slightly higher levels, I think 1500 looks like a great spot that the market could come back and retest. And... Um, 
I guess we'll look at that uh, at a little bit more in detail. So um, if we look at what happened earlier this year with Ethereum, if you can see this triangle pattern here, uh, we had a false breakout above the triangle. Uh, we pretty much uh, capitulated uh, once we broke back inside the triangle, back to the bottom of the triangle, and now we're kind of moving back inside the middle of it, and it's getting tighter and tighter. So for me, if we if we if we were to break underneath the uh, triangle pattern, it's kind of a no-brainer that we're going to move back towards this orange line here, around uh, one thousand five hundred dollars. And um, I guess if we were to break um, any uh, type of key resistance. Uh, say for example, uh, three thousand two hundred. Then we're probably going to look at about three five, three six uh, to test back towards the top of the triangle. Probably very annoyingly, it could fail here and then get a big rejection back down to fifteen hundred. That would be quite um, a good uh, opportunity um, if it looks weak up there to try to short the market up there. But at the moment, we're kind of in the middle there, and there's no real confirmation that we're going to test there. But that's what I'm looking at about three five, and that would probably be a signal for coins on the move there. I would be interested in if we saw some things happen up there like a token a consume spike and some weak price action i'd be prepared to give it a shot with a stop loss at about four thousand us dollars or something like that and again in the near term the price action um this is a obviously uh, a lower time frame but it's just kind of highlighting what i'm saying in that we're trading in this triangle pattern and if we break above maybe three 3.1, uh, 3.50, then maybe we can head towards 3.4. But if not, we get a big rejection back down towards 2.4. And underneath there, it's a slippery slope for Ethereum. So overall, Ethereum's at a critical juncture at $3,000. Uh, the bull case targets at least, I guess, uh, to around 3,400. A return uh, to 2,500 is the short-term uh, bear case, but I guess uh, much underneath there, and we could expose a huge drop towards 1,500, which would be a very interesting buying opportunity um, and a trading opportunity to short uh, that breakout, in my opinion. And thank you. I hope you found my thoughts helpful. If you'd like more, please click the subscribe button for Pro BTC Trader and join me every week on Wednesdays for our live trading war room and daily email updates.